What's good, everybody? Hope all of you guys um, had a, a good um, and happy holiday, uh, Christmas, holidays, whatever it is that you celebrate. Hope you guys had fun. Uh, we're safe. Um, the, the footage that you'll see after this was filmed from like the 20th of December to the 22nd. It is now the 29th, December 29th, 2015. I'm making this little intro to dedicate this little video, um, even though I dedicate, and I will dedicate a lot more um, to this uh, lady, um, I dedicate this little video uh, to a very important lady in my life who passed away, unfortunately, uh, December 24th, 2015, Christmas Eve, and that beautiful lady was my mom. Uh, she passed away Christmas Eve at the young age of 80 years old so in the next few weeks probably on the 11th is when it's planned um, hopefully everything goes through smoothly I plan on flying back home to Samoa and it sucks that it's been over 15 years since I've been home and for this to be the reason really sucks you know but um, I'll be flying home uh, to bury my mom to say goodbye to see her one last time so like I said, I dedicate this little video to her. And uh, you, you'll see me at the end of the video uh, for the, uh, to let you know, the little pickups that I got. But what you'll see after this was filmed earlier from like the 20th to the 22nd. But uh, I don't know if I'll be able to film anything um, in between when I'm waiting to get my, my uh, fare and everything all set up to fly to Samoa because it costs a lot of money. It's not like flying to like California or something. So I don't know from now until the 11th if I'll have an opportunity to do a video. But I will when I'm back home uh, film some stuff. Uh, mainly for my personal uh, use. But also to share with you guys. Not the, the funeral. I'm not going to film any of the funeral. But like, you know, show you guys where I grew up. A few things, what it's like on an island. If any of you have been to Samoa or to any island, uh, just to show you a few things. So I'm not really excited to go back home uh, because of the reason, you know, even though it's been over 15 years. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Thank you to everybody who watches, even though these videos are just random, they might not be the greatest, but. Um, Thank you to uh, everyone that watches, thumbs up, uh, comments, and, and supports this channel. So like I said, this one's for mom. inside the house.
Kicking the bad snow, good job. Okay. Oh wow! Be careful you don't fall. Come on this side. guys made it this far thank you I know it's not like a really long video but um, I got a bag of things I didn't pick up too much stuff in that footage that you saw when we were at um, Desert Industries I found a few things I found some toys but I'll just throw those in in a, another video whenever I get around to doing it um, they're like all over the place my son has a few of them but I do have a few things from the savers footage from the last video that you saw. Uh, this is one of the things that I did pick up from Desert Industries and the, there's no price on here but it's this game right here, Super Bubble Bop. Uh, it is complete, practically brand new. I believe this was like two or three bucks at um, BI, so another addition to my PS1 collection. Now a few of these um, I got at, actually this next one I also got at I believe Desert Industries, <coughs> it's uh, First Strict Wakeboarding for the PS1, the case is kind of a uh, part, uh, but it is complete, this has like some minor wearing to it, pretty sure it'll play. And this is like another two or three bucks, I can't remember. Now from that, the, the Sabres up north, for a buck ninety-nine, I got another PS1 and Food Borders 2. That's a fancy schmancy. Complete. This is in great condition. Uh, for a buck ninety-nine again, from the Sabres up north, Cart World Series. It's complete. This just fell out. Um, for $2.99, PS2 game, um, The Plan, um, I don't believe, well now I have it, but I don't believe I had it before, so another game to add to, to my PS2 collection, looks interesting I guess, this complete, the disc is in great shape, um, got a couple more games and then like a mix of some, some movies and stuff, okay so, Man, I have like probably four or five copies of this. I'm always, I'm, I'm a fan of this series, so it's just a habit. Why need to stop that? But for $2.99 from the Sabres up north again, 
Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. I think I might, I think this might, this copy might be a lot better than the one that I do have. Let's see what I do have. <laughs> but, um, complete. I'm a fan of the Metal Gear Solid series. And then the last game uh, from the Sabres, I got the majority of my games and the rest of the stuff I'm, I'm about to show you from the Sabres up north. For $2.99, uh, Splashdown, what is it? Rise on Wild for the PS2. I think it's just a disc. So those are the games from PS1 and PS2. Um, this right here I got from DI. This is the second copy I picked up. The first one uh, I picked up from DI as well for the exact same price, I believe, or cheaper. And I don't know where it is, but funny enough, I came across another copy for two bucks. This is the Jim Henson Muppets Take Manhattan movie. That. And then the rest of these, I believe, are from um, the Sabres up north. I got this right here. I think their movies are like buck ninety nine. But um, I'll just go with buck ninety nine. So I got this, the Rocky Horror Horror. Can't say that word right. Picture show. Sabres. I couldn't resist. I had to pick this up, even though I, don't, I haven't really seen a lot of it. And it's still sealed. Uh, this is a little, or yeah, Little Princess starring Shirley Temple. Still sealed. It's like you can barely feel one disc in there. And last but not least, I'm a big um, old school kung fu movie karate type um, fan. I love picking up these box sets whenever I see them. This was, I think, about 99 at the Savers up north as well. And that is Bruce Lee Martial Arts Extreme, even though that looks nothing like Bruce Lee. Probably one of the fake lookalikes, you know, but it's got these right here. Um, Blind Fist of Bruce. <laughs> and then the image of Bruce Lee. Yeah, this one looks a lot more like Bruce. I don't know what it is. But anyways trying to build up my old school kung fu karate collection. I used to have a lot but that's still unfortunate. But that's it you guys. Um, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned. I'm not sure exactly like I said earlier in the intro. I'll, if I get an, an opportunity to make a video before I leave I will but I will make a video and record stuff um, and share it with you from back home. Samo. See you guys later.